Welcome back to STS. In today's video we're going to solve a system of linear equations using the elimination method. Here we're going to go ahead and try to eliminate the x variable because if I can make this uh, term here a negative 3 then the x's would cancel out when I uh, added the two add the two functions together. So let's do that. Here let's uh, put parentheses and show we're going to distribute a 3 throughout that. Let's write the top equation first. 3x plus 12y is equal to 15. And then the bottom equation, let's distribute that 3 to each one of these terms. 3 times x. Well, actually, let's make it a negative 3. A negative 3 times x to give me a negative 3x. A negative 3 times a positive 4y to give me a negative 12y. And then negative 3 times 5 to give me a negative 15. When I add these two equations together, we see that here on the left everything becomes zero, and also here on the right everything becomes zero. Uh, with a linear, um, with a linear system as such, where the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, this is what's known as a dependent, as a dependent um, linear uh, system, meaning that these two equations here are the same line. All right, and let's go ahead and prove that. Let's take the first equation, 3x plus 12y is equal to 15, and let's solve for y so that it's in the slope-intercept form. Let's subtract 3x from both sides. All right, in doing so, the, uh, the, the x terms cancel out. I'm left with 12y is equal to negative 3x plus 15, and then I'm going to divide each term by 12. And doing so, those 12s cancel. When I have y is equal to, I've got a negative 3 twelfths, well, that can be simplified down to a negative 1 fourth. And then 3 also goes into 15 and 12. 3 goes into 15 five times, and 3 goes into 12 four times. And let's work on the second equation, the original equation, which would be x plus 4y is equal to 5. Let's subtract x from both sides. This x term cancel here. 4y is equal to negative x plus 5. And then let's divide each one of these terms by 4 to get the y by itself. And here I have y is equal to a negative 1 fourth x plus 5 fourths. We see that these two equations here match exactly. So we know that we are dealing with the same line. If we were to graph these, again, we would just see one line on the uh, on the calculator. All right, that sums it up for this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, thank you for watching.